Hello YouTubians and welcome to another Pookie's Book Adventures. Thought I would uh, tell you my February reads, uh, the books that I've read during February now that it's the 1st of March. So I started off the month by reading Kathy Wright's Seizures, which is the second to Virals. Uh, I loved this book, I loved the first one, I love Kathy Wright, she's my favourite author, so <laughs> I would suggest this to everybody and anybody. I know that it's not uh, crime adventures and thrillers are not everybody's thing, but this has fantasy is unlike her other series, is meant for teenagers, so it's a lot less gory. Book two, a book that my mum suggested, Always by Trevor Mel Medal Johnson. Trevor Medal Johnson. Johnson. The most romantic, irresist irresistible love story you'll ever read. My mum handed this to me and she was like, read this. It's like, it's gonna be a sappy love story and it's gonna be really like, ugh. <laughs> And I was completely wrong. This is such an amazing book. I was blown away by it. This actually has been one of my favourite books that I've ever read. Full stop. Like, out of every single book I've read, this is probably one of my favourites. It has so much more to it than it just being a love story. Um, so I would definitely suggest to read this uh, if you get a chance. The third book I read was J.K. Rowling's A Casual Vacancy. Ah! I didn't like this book. I found it... I found it like watching a slow motion car crash. I love the cover. <laughs> it's a very pretty cover. But the inside of it is just... Ah! For me personally, um, I've either gone through... I've gone through a lot of the struggles that happen in this book. Um, or I know people who fit the characters and so it's it's like I've done this I've seen these people in real life and I hated it in real life I don't want to relive it in a fictional book so for me I would not read this again and I hope that JK goes back to more fantasy style things she has proved that she can do something different and do it well it was entertaining to read uh, well entertaining it kept me reading but I would not read this again because I struggled with it. Next book I read because I was like, ah, after that, I read J.R.R. Tolkien's classic of Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. This is the first part, this is the first volume because I found out that there are actually seven books to Lord of the Rings uh, and that they were put into three volumes, so it's technically not three books. A uh, little fact for you there. I enjoyed this and I knew I would, which is why I picked it up because I was like, I needed to read something that I knew would be good <laughs> and I know Lord of the Rings is good and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really great. I liked the the in-depthness of the characters. Everybody told me to look out for Tom Bombadil <laughs> and he was a very interesting character. Um, <laughs> you kind of feel like the uh, hobbits keep taking miniature holidays on their mission. It's like they get distracted and end up staying with the elves for a month um, and they end up staying with Tom Bombadil for a couple of for like a week or something, or two weeks. Hello YouTubians. My camera died during recording that, so I've had to charge it. <laughs> and wait for it to charge for me to finish off this video. As I was going to continue, I really enjoyed Lord of the Rings. Uh, this is my little my little book journal, which uh, I write I write in all my all my things. It's got uh, author, book title, and notes of the book. I uh, very much like it. I think it's very cute. It keeps track of what I've read. So the last few books that I read in February were after J. R. R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. I read <laughs> a bit of an odd book, but uh, The Canons of the Church of England. A law book for vicars, vicars and their churches and church wardens and things in the Church of England. It's not law of, uh, law of England, <laughs> so if you break them uh, <laughs> it's not a punish punishable offence, uh, but it, they are kind of like the Church of England's recommendations for how to keep your church in order. <laughs> and also, you know, bishops and, and canons and all that kind of thing. It's a reference book, and I didn't realise it was a reference book until Mum told me was after I read it like a novel. <laughs> Interesting, it was nice to read, um, because there are some very funny, 
funny laws in the Church of England that they make up. Uh, very peculiar, you might say. Things that are regularly broken, which people don't realise. Uh, many a good Christian would uh, fall under breaking canon law. Uh, and I know many a vicar who <laughs> would fall under breaking canon law. So, um, so it's quite amusing uh, in that fact. But probably only to me because... Uh, <laughs> My, uh, we are a family that is involved with the Church of England because my mother is a vicar for the Church of England so this is probably only really interesting to me maybe vicars, uh, I'm a bizarre person the last book that I read this month, well in February uh, was City of Bones, Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare Ta -da! it was a very good book I stormed through this I read it in about two days it's 450 odd pages and I just devoured it. I don't think it was even two days. I think it was like a day and a half, but um, no, I very much enjoyed it. I think it has demons and Nephilim and uh, a lot of a lot of uh, fantasy uh, Vampires, werewolves, all of the great things um, It's written really well. <laughs> you like the characters. The ending Oh, I need the next book. This ends in a place where you're like, shit's about to go down. I very much enjoyed it. I need the next one, City of Ashes. Very much looking forward to reading that book. Although I need to get it first and I'm trying not to buy any books. <laughs> Although I've managed to get other people to buy me books, which technically isn't cheating. I think it might be. The current book that I'm on is The Man Who Broke Into Outswitch. <laughs> it is a, a story about a man called Dennis Avery uh, <laughs> who did crazy things in the war to see with his own eyes some of the atrocities that happened. And uh, yeah, it's so far it's really interesting. Um, I like war stories like war books and things that tell you about things that happen but it's not everybody's cup of tea um, so this was the last book that I was reading for February uh, but I didn't finish it in February so this goes on to my March reading list um, I have several books that I want to read in March uh, and I will show them in another video of my wanting want to reads in uh, in March that video should come shortly hopefully, because I plan to upload videos regularly now uh, because I'm bored <laughs> so yes, thanks for watching YouTubians uh, goodbye shit's about to go down <laughs>